Hey everyone, this is Shadowfoot, and I bring you again to another mail day. This time, I got some stuff for us, all to view. So let's go ahead and get into this unboxing, not make it so long like the other times. I got three boxes, and I am pretty sure my post office either loves me or hates me. But um, I need some, I need some new stuff, so. I'll be uh, doing a little bit more thorough overview on each one of these items, just sporadically through my videos and my motor vlogs. I'll just be commenting on the construct and quality of some of these. But uh, the first thing that we got is a new side gloves. I've been needing a new side gloves. Please call it on me. But um, the first time I opened these, these are uh, another pair of cheap gloves that I found online. I think there's like seventeen to twenty dollars, um, and I wear a large. So, and uh, they smell nice. It's always good to see how they smell. Looks like better construct than my other gloves. Um, doesn't have like the little plastic padding on the, on the lower parts of the knuckles, but um, they fit well, comfortable, and they have uh, reflective strips on them, so I guess kind of helps. Supposed to have, these are supposed to be for uh, touch phones, uh, touch screens. Um, these are supposed to be for touch screens right here, and uh, hopefully it works well. There's the sizing chart, which I did the sizing of my hand to make sure it fit properly, and uh, they do. It's really nice and comfortable. A lot better than the other pair that's falling to pieces. And uh, like I said, personally, I don't think you need to have a majorly um, powerful glove. I mean, just having something on your hands is going to help when you hit the glass. Uh, and most, and this material is actually kind of thick. It's um, it's going to hold up. So that's my first thing: it's gloves. And like I said, uh, I'll put a link in the description. I'll put an image up showing uh, the page of where I bought them. Um, And my second box, which is going to be, uh, I'm going to have to do like an actual thing with these. Alright, so a couple things in this box. First off, I got myself this, and I really need this um, to add to my motorcycle. It's really cheap, they're only about like $89, but it's a motorcycle DVR kit. You put one camera on the front of the motorcycle, one camera on the back of the motorcycle. It records when you turn on the ignition, it turns off when you turn off the ignition. It's a very simple unit. IP57 uh, proof lens, so it's weatherproof, has a G-Shock sensor on it. I think that this even has an uh, expansion ability to put in a GPS transponder so it can like record speed and whatnot. But something that I'm going to do a video on putting in and installing and maybe even take some footage from it from time to time. I might just do regular videos of me just riding around for a reason. Um, this is just a... Uh, it's from the company called Spice Tech. And it's a very simple mount that goes from just a flat panel over to a threaded. Which I'm... A threat, flat panel over to a threaded mount. Uh, one fourth threaded. And that's going to be used with another box I'm going to be getting in the future, which is uh, for my Sony Action Camera skeleton case. Just so I can um, attach my skeleton case to my upcoming helmet, which I'm planning on buying a new helmet, probably an Icon. Probably in the summertime. Not so much in the spring. Got these. Armor need pads. Like another 1720, uh, fairly strong plating. They have like the uh, quick strap instead of the Velcro. The Velcro always seemed to get like dog hair and other stuff in it, making it very difficult to use. 
So, got that stuff so far. And then we got the big box. Which this box, and a lot of people are going to be like, oh, that's cheap, why'd you get it? It's like, it's effective. I have laid down several times with this stuff on, and it works very well. It's going to be hard to see. But this is some actual armor. So we can just take the. There we go. It's like Christmas morning. The wrapping paper everywhere. So anyway, this is the back, obviously. Um, hard plastic plates to, to protect the spine, padding on for the sides, uh, for the tailbone, right where the hip pivots. And on the front, you got the. Uh, these are the shoulder and arm pads are kind of folded into each other. And then you got the chest plates right here. So these are this is hard plastic armor. Um, the interesting thing is Fox makes the same thing, uh, just like three times more expensive because it has a Fox sticker on it. But um, I've been using this armor for a while now, and um, the armor I have is is right here. And it's trimmed in blue. Um, but the thing is, it's just a little too small. And as you can see, it's been it's taken a beating, like right here. And it's had some scrapes, but it holds up really well. Um, I've been attacked in this armor uh, with someone with a retractable baton. I've taken several hits with the baton, and without little in injury to me, um, like full force, I've fallen off my KLR when I was trying to wheelie um, several times with this armor and it holds up pretty good um, on the impact and it probably holds up a lot better than like probably your $150, $200 jackets um, even probably say unless you're getting like a full on jacket that has plated armor on the inside you're not going to come across something anywhere close to this price bracket that is going to protect you as much as this not to mention it's a breathable material just like my old one it's a breathable mesh material. You can just have just the armor on and a t-shirt underneath and be perfectly fine. It's easy to slip on, easy to slip off, and um, you know that's pretty much my unboxing. I'll do a little bit more details in motor vlogs on this stuff, but uh, this has just been a quick unboxing video of some of the armor I just got. And like I said, links will be in the description. Feel free to rate, comment, and subscribe. And check out shadowfoot.net for any of our uh, news, updates, and giveaways. Till next time, Shadowfoot signing out. Like what you see? Enjoy our content? Then please consider visiting our Patreon page. There you can learn how we got our start, and there you can be a part of the action.